And hello everybody and welcome to Freedom Fight. I hope everybody's okay and hope everybody's looking after themselves. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. This is a very special interview this week on Autism Awareness Day with Zara Lee MacDonald, obviously my sister. She has uh, complex needs uh, and other uh, learning disabilities and is on the autism uh, scale. She has a lot of disabilities going uh, through school and that type of thing. Um, the school system has actually sat the letter down. And I'm going to ask her a few questions uh, about what it's like uh, having autism. So you get a bit of an understanding. Due to her learning disability, she does not want to show her face. Um, and she finds it very embarrassing to actually talk open and um, to a camera. So we have made it a bit more simplerised for her and we think an audio um, version is uh, the best thing to do. So I want to welcome uh, my sister to the chat. Hello Zara and how are you today? I'm fine dude, give me some skin. Zara, um, it's not that you have autism and complex needs. What's it like having uh, that? And do you think people understand you? People don't understand people's got learning difficulties. If you, if some people are diagnosed with it, some people are born with it, and they don't understand people's got it, and they get bullied online because of it, and it's disgusting. People that have autism, sound syndrome, or different, or different learning difficulties, and people don't understand it, and people have a go at the kids because they've got it, and it's a di and they go online and they pick on them because they've got a disorder, and it's stupid, and they can't, and they can't help it. It's a bit, I, 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 I've got autism and I find it a bit hard. So when I'm stressed out, if you've got autism, it's better to have ten. Take a bit to have a bit of time on your own and you don't take it out on your part of your family. Zara, what schools did you go to? I went to Moorside, Trinity, Longley and Ryburn Valley High School. And can you remember what happened at Ryburn, Zara? You were actually doing gardening night in the room, wasn't you? Yeah! And they actually made you all stand on uh, wooden boards uh, with no gloves on. No real safety equipment. I actually slipped, didn't you? Yeah! And you actually cut your hand on a trowel. And there was no first aiders on site at the school. So they actually called Dad up. And Dad, at the time, had a car. So he drove all the way to Sully Bridge to go to Ryburn Valley High School to actually see to Zara. And uh, the school says, oh, Zara's just fallen um, and she's uh, got a little graze on her hand. But it actually seemed like it wasn't just a graze, it was actually quite a deep cut. That actually just missed your guiders in your hands. So yeah, had to rush down to A&E, accident and emergency. We didn't call an ambulance, so Dad had to take it himself. When you went to the accident and emergency, you saw a nurse and the nurse was disgusted. Um, and had to had to sort out your hand. So Ryburn Valley High School actually let children do gardening out in the rain, standing on wooden boards, and have no care and attention of a child. Zara, after school and um, you went on to college, how did the college uh, treat you? She said we're going out, so my dad got to come up with the bus pass, and then it was raining, and then she said we're not going out, so all the class people in my class start kicking off. Um, Zara, did you actually have a one-to-one -one support worker while you was at school and college? Yes, I did have a one-to-one. -one. I had one at Miller's side, and I had one at Longley Special School. And at college, I only had one when they, when they felt like it. Zao, what do you think about the changeover from a statement of special educational needs to a healthcare plan? So basically, they write down uh, your disabilities and uh, so the teachers and that understand you. Mum and Dad went to a meeting, I had to go somewhere else, I went, came in at the end to talk about progress. Zao, do you think there's anything different in this uh, world that could actually um, 
make it better for people um, with your disability. You should have more youth clubs near your area for disabled people because a lot of disabled people get stressed out of staying in at home all the time. Zara, is there anything you would like to say uh, about your disability? More education for people to understand who's better. Zara, you actually are a wrestler and you actually do training. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Wrestling's good, it gets you out of the house, you meet new people and you do pr and you do practice shows. I wear two luchador masks. I, I am known as Lee, the good one is Lee Lee Bamba and the here one is Laban. And you do training, all different sports sport kickboxing mma judo taekwondo fitness and exercise and it's fantastic for keeping fit great sport because if you if you want to learn them sports better to go into wrestling because you do all the different you do the sports like judo Cry Krondo, kickboxing, martial arts, judo, that's where you learn your falls, your kicking, your punching, your strangle -out. and it's good if you're in life and you get bullied and you stick up and you need to stick up for yourself, you can you can, um, defend yourself, you can strangle the neck. Or you can, and and then the pin is to the ground. You can break out of it because they show you how to break out of a move. And thank you for talking to us, Zara. And uh, hope you've enjoyed this interview, guys. This is Autism Awareness Day. Thank you for talking to me. Stay safe, everybody. Bye bye. What's that, Zara? The kid the woman I shot you down. Thank <laughs> you.